So I can almost hear one somewhere. Let me stand back a little bit. You can hear a hissing noise. One thing, there's a couple things you can do to find a vacuum leak. You can, um, this one's not so safe. You can mist like starter fluid or some people use brake cleaner or, or propane. You can mist some flammable stuff around your engine bay. And if you have a vacuum leak, it'll suck it in and your engine will rev. That, that's one way you can find a vacuum leak. It's kind of dangerous. You got a hot engine, you're spraying that stuff on there. So if you're going to do it that way, you want to have like a fire extinguisher or something. Another way, you can pour water around like where your intake is. If you pour water on like where your intake is and it sucks the water in, it'll bog the engine down. So you can use actually use water to find vacuum leaks. But I think the best way to find a vacuum leak is just to use a, a smoke machine and smoke out your intake. Right now, I'm, I'm going to shut the engine off. I'm going to pull apart a couple of these things and try to do a visual inspection. Uh, see if I can find any cracks or any uh, breaks. Uh, once I get, once I remove all the cover and a bunch of this stuff, I'll uh, I'll update you guys. But so I'm gonna, first, I'm going to start off by taking this cover off. Four bolts off. There's actually a little clip here that holds on the this cable here. Let me move that out. Now you should be able to lift this out of the way. I'm just looking around at hoses and stuff to see if I see anything. Looking for cracks or breaks. And just trying to get a better look and look at these vacuum lines. If I see anything that just sticks out, just looking at all your vacuum lines and you know, all these hoses can be cracked. Uh, just look around. See if anything is loose or, or broken. Just, just anything you see off the bat that's easy to spot. I mean. And there's a if you look here this can help you out a little bit there's a kind of a vacuum lines uh, here's a drawing so I mean there's some evap stuff vacuum controlled EGR solenoids got some vacuum lines going to it so I mean this this gives you a can point you in the right direction looking for leaks you know check all these fittings and just find it on here like this is a vacuum hose. You just see if anything sticks out at you, like a broken hose, or just gonna right now. It's just looking and trying to see if I see anything just that sticks out at me, like a broken hose or something like that. And there's a lot of. A lot of vacuum hoses around that can just be leaks, you know. There's a lot of a lot of vacuum crap. Just looking at this hose. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my finger checking this hose out. I'm just plugging my finger and I'm gonna blow through this end. Make sure it holds pressure. If it doesn't hold pressure, it's obviously it's got a leak. Well, this hose is good. Really, all I'm doing now is just checking all these hoses out real well. Just looking for uh, looking for cracked hoses, and just pull these out. Pull this one out. Like I said, you can just plug your hole, plug it, and that one's good. Easy way to do it. It's 
it's kind of tedious but it does work some of these are hard to see try to see this hose here There's a hose back here. What's this going to? There's an intake. I'm gonna spray I'm gonna spray right back here I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna spray a couple there's a bunch of vacuum hose lines back here comes off the intake here there. So let me go start her up see what happens almost sounds like it's coming I can almost hear something back here Watch out for moving stuff. Little. See if I hear this engine rev.
Oh well. Oh no, I got nothing. Not getting anywhere.